Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza. Wait. Deadly Premonition 2. That was two games ago. I don't know how I got that. Oh, I'm starving. Freak, my health goes down when I'm not hungry. Anyway, last time, we found out what the Oracle wanted with us. And this time, well, we gotta solve that. First things first. I need to eat. And that's what I'm talking. You can't get fine. So make. All right. So. The only downfall is we have like zero monies. And that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, we've done this before. It's the weirdest animation ever. Thanks, Miss. Next time you get a hankering. All right. Pretty simple. Health mate. It didn't really heal me, but I don't. My stamina drains, but I don't. I just run in place. All right, so we're going to the other world. Uh, and we know how much fun the other world is. But this time we're going to a different part of the over on on other world. The freak. Why can I not talk ever? I don't even know why I'm talking now, because I'm going to cut this out, because this is a 35 second loading screen for no reason. saying is I do kind of want 100% the game. And, yeah, that's still true. Please. But, to 100% the game, there's a lot of stuff you have to do, and that's okay. That's kind of normal in games. So, for example, let's go ahead and go over that real quick. Uh... I mean, we have that, and we have all the side missions. That's normal. Freak. Uh, the stats. Stamps. Okay. There are 400 stamps in the game. Including one spending 365 days in in-game days. Okay. We're on two. I know, that's not that impressive. But... It's, I'm curious to see how well we can do in this game with everything. Like, for I think the main goal is I'm gonna do a lot of the story, and if this game's anything like different, Deadly Premonition One, which so far it is, I can go back and just do all the side stuff whenever I feel like. It. All right. Well, I am like 20 minutes early. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's now 6 o'clock. I didn't realize it had to be 6. I thought it was 6 to 8. Oh, it is 6 to 8. I could just wait till the morning to begin with. Well, crap. Took a lot of damage for no reason. <laughs> well, good news I have like, a lot of first aid kits. So, let's go ahead and use like one of them real quick. All right. Let's go to the altar. Oh, look what it is. <laughs> Wait, what? This is how it has to be. That's the way it's going to be, little dog. Why did the perpetrator decide to enshrine Lisa's body here? Uh! Hmm. 
Remember this, Zack? Stone skipping. We did it all the time when we were kids. For some reason, I could never beat you. But I feel like I've got what it takes to win now. What do you say? Shall we take a trip down memory lane? What? No! But... Uh, I got a lollipop. Not was... bad, Zach. That was just as fun as when we were kids. Hey, what's that? No wonder the word Mississippi means father of waters. It has the power to carry boats down the tiniest of tributaries. It's one of the prime symbols of America's majesty and the vitality of the human race. Now about that boat. What sort of cargo would give it such a deep draft? What else do you see, Zack? I saw it clearly, if only for a second. The Dragonfly Crest. This town never wants to stop reminding us about the Clarksons. Because they're important. Stone skipping has been unlocked. That's not my priority. This is my priority. Hey, Zack. Do you remember the Oracle? Nope. When the sun awakens. Catch the tip of the baby bear's tail at the false altar, and the entrance to the other world will reveal itself to you. In other words, we need to go to where Lise was found, and look north at dawn. I wonder what we'll see. Singularity inspection. There's bomb like thing on the frame, frame. It was commonly Spanish boss of these parts. They're on purpose? It's hard to say I understand the mind of someone who wanted the enshrine of dead girl's body. A skull down there. It's a skull, Zack. As clear as day. That's the spot. The barrier between our world and the other world. What? One might call it a singularity. Wait, I just had to click that. Hey, I need money because it costs a lot to get the hotel. Now. What do you say we go inspect that cabin? Why did you leave me behind? You're not supposed to investigate without me. How'd you find me? Oh, I'm sorry, Patty. You just missed a special moment. What moment? The sugarcane plantation? So what? You can't see it? All I see is the Clarkson's plantation and that gross silo. I mean... There you have it, Zack. Patty, Zack and I will take it from here. In the meantime, you need to head home and wait for us. Wait at home? Alone? Yes, but only for a while. Once I make some progress, I'll contact you again. Hey, hold on! Also, would you mind telling Melvin that I'm heading to the sugarcane plantation? I'm sure we'll need his help later. Whoa, Agent York! Wait! You're really gonna leave a little girl like me here all alone? Act like an adult for once in your life. I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. You promised. Protect me. You'll be fine. You made <laughs> it this far alone, didn't you? I mean, you're the one who came all the way here. You can get back, no problem. Head to the singularity. That sounds pretty easy. Oh, if it isn't Agent Morgan. How may I help you? Are you angry with me, Patty? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, good. In that case, please return home at once. <laughs> I didn't mean to talk to her. Well? Let's get more tub. Sugarcane plantation. I mean, we are Louisiana. We're outside New Orleans. Go ahead and trigger that. 
I need all the money I can get. There's enemies down there. I don't want to focus back randomly. Trigger can't point it. Is someone just staring at it? Or am I imagining something? Look, Zack. We're about to encounter a new character. Oh, damn it. I know I saw her go inside. But it's empty. The hell's going on here? You won't be able to find the other world. What the... Who in the hell are you? What are you doing on our plantation? I'd like to ask you the same. Well, I'm... Hey, shut up! This ain't got nothing to do with you. I see. Well, if you don't want to tell me, then I have no choice but to guess. You just said this is our plantation. I assume that means you're a member of the Clarkson family. And you're here looking for someone. If there's a search being conducted on Clarkson property, it must be a search for Galena Clarkson, who's gone missing. Judging from the way you speak, your age, and most of all the color of your eyes, you must be Danny Clarkson, the father of the victim, Galena's husband, and the manager of the cold storage warehouse. Nice to meet you. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I'm here investigating the Lise Clarkson case. Oh, and just call me York. That's what everyone's always called me. <laughs> you think I give a shit? You better watch your mouth or I'm liable to whoop your goddamn ass! Uh... Your daughter was taken from you and now your wife has gone missing. No words can describe what you're going through. I imagine you're doing everything you can, searching every last nook and cranny all over town. But, Danny, listen to me. It won't get you anywhere. No matter how hard you search, you'll never find them. The fuck is with you? You want to throw down with a Clarkson? Absolutely not. I simply wish to solve this case. Then hurry up and investigate, goddammit! I am. That's why I'm here. The Oracle told me there's something in this spot. Oracle? That's right. Zack and I are following oracles given to us by a skeletal gentleman. If you wish to find the person who killed your daughter, you should cooperate. I imagine that not even the Clarksons want to start a feud with a federal power. I've had enough of your bullshit. Why's everyone and their mother been pissing in my ear today, huh? Shit! Does this mean you're ready to cooperate? May I enter the building? Do whatever you want. If you think you can mess with the Clarksons, you got another thing coming. <sighs> Zack, it appears that the Clarksons have no idea where Galena is either. And judging from Danny's demeanor, the family must be in the midst of their own complications. This case may require more work than we think. Hmm. Zack, Danny married into this family, didn't he? Yet he's acting like he's a full-blooded Clarkson. I'm surprised, really. That was the most unexpected aspect of our encounter. Wait. After all, he's only the son-in-law. What do you think, Zack? It's unusual, especially in Louisiana, it's kind of unusual to hear that someone took, the man took the woman's name, but... I guess that last name has a lot of prestige, after all. Ooh. Store on the take out later, items first and at once. Oh. I'm gonna take these with me. And then, I don't need all the coffees with milk. But it will take some of this voice. Let's see what else we can find here. Let's save real quick. Phone bell.
Really? The bathroom. Alright, if I recall correctly, that's kind of important. So, I think the smart thing is let's chill out tonight on this. And next time on Deadly Perdition 2, not Yakuza Like a Dragon, we'll go to the portal. I'll see you then.